Okay. Um, I think we had a wonderful week this week. Um, and it was hard for me to choose a favorite program. But when I was pushed, <laughs> I had to say that this book by Roger Husden, British-American poet, um, Saved by Beauty, was my favorite. First of all, we had a caller from Pakistan. I mean, when I started here on Earth, I dreamed that we would have a real global conversation. Uh, not realizing that there's something called time zones. <laughs> but this man <laughs> really loves the program, and he doesn't realize that he can listen to it on podcast, and, and he stays up really late and sometimes fall asleep, falls asleep. But he called into the program, which was so thrilling to me. But there were many reasons why uh, I thought this was a fabulous, fabulous book. Um, this man had a wonderful time for the two months he was in Iran. He did exactly what he wanted to do. He found all the wonderful people he was looking for. He um, realized that the poetry is very much alive. It's, it's a vibrant thread um, in the culture, even after all these centuries. The most surprising thing of all was when he got detained and interrogated. His, his uh, interrogators also spouted Rumi and Hafez. And he had a, a very narrow brush, brush with something that could have been a real disaster. After he realized that he wasn't going to be sent to prison, and God knows what else, he writes, An hour had passed since the two men had left. In that hour, I came to know three things. First, I knew that even as I was part of a web of loving relationships that I cherished, I was at the same time utterly alone in this life existentially, essentially alone, as when one dies. But then the second thing I knew beyond all doubt was that the narrative I had assumed to be my identity was a fabrication, a fiction, spun out of my neurons. Roger the traveler, the writer, the romantic, even Roger the lover of Rumi, was a provisional reality. My memories, too, were shifting, and subject to change. On that balcony, all my usual reference points had drifted away. The familiar story of my life meant nothing in my present circumstances. Not very many human beings arrive at that kind of profound insight and realization. And I cherish this book because he shared it with us.